Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Keith and welcome to my view from the 40. It seems like it's been forever since I've had the chance to chat with you. I was not at the last home game. I was in Toronto at a little thing called the Toronto International Film Festival, but I'm back. Back in time to see Rider Nation come to the capital. It's always interesting when the Saskatchewan Rough Riders come to town. While I will never be accused of being a Saskatchewan Rough Riders fan, I have a lot of respect for their fan base. No team travels like Saskatchewan Rough Rider fans. It's fantastic. We need more of it in the league. And you saw the sea of green in the stadium. Now, the game tonight was very interesting as they took on the hometown Red Blacks. The opening half seemed to be completely in Ottawa's control as they were up 10-0. And by the time I got back to my seat from halftime, it was 17-0 Ottawa. So it only stands to reason that Ottawa would go on and win the game, right? Well, the last home game that I was at was when Ottawa took on the BC Lions, and Ottawa was up 31-3 and almost let that game slip away, but they were able to hold on. Not so much tonight. Saskatchewan chipped away, chipped away, chipped away until they were finally able to come back and tie the game. And then a punt into the end zone secured the rouge that they needed to go on and win. Now, of course, Ottawa is dealing with the fact that their, their, their two starting quarterbacks are injured in, in uh, Trevor Harris and Drew Tate, respectfully. So Ryan Lindley has been getting the snaps. Now, Ryan Lindley's a third-string quarterback, and I'll give him credit. For the first half of the game, he held in there. But unfortunately, the second half of the game came, the rain came, and he wasn't able to handle it. So do you put the loss on him? No. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. You win as a team, you lose as a team. But here is the scary predicament that our Ottawa Red Blacks find themselves in. The reigning, defending Grey Cup champions could very well miss the playoffs. Ottawa has three games left. The Hamilton Tiger Cats have six. Ottawa's three games remaining include going to BC Place to play the BC Lions, going to Saskatchewan to play the Riders for the rematch, and then their last game, a home game here against the Hamilton Tiger Cats. On the flip side of the coin, Hamilton has six games. They include games against Toronto, Winnipeg, Calgary, two against Montreal, and one against Ottawa. Going through the games and looking and making my, my fearless predictions, it is very, very possible that Ottawa misses out on the playoffs. The game against Saskatchewan, tough place to play, so I don't necessarily know if Ottawa can win that one. Going into BC Place, which BC Lions are you going to play? The BC Lions that puts up 40 points or the BC Lions that fell to Hamilton last week? And then, of course, the game against Hamilton. That is going to have a playoff feel to it. So Ottawa very well could miss the playoffs, which is a very, very scary predicament. So I'm very interested to see what's going to happen. But this entire CFL season has been crazy. You were looking at two teams that looked atrocious at the beginning of the year, being Saskatchewan and Hamilton, and both of them seem like they're on a collision course to get into the playoffs and leave teams like the BC Lions and the Ottawa Red Blacks on the outside looking in. So what does Ottawa need to do? Ottawa needs to get healthy. I'm hoping that Trevor Harris and or um, uh, Drew Tate get back soon. With all due respect to Mr. Lindley, it is not his time yet. And it is a lot to ask of a quarterback to come in this late in the season and to carry a team on his shoulders when he's barely had any, if well, I don't think he's really had any snaps prior to, uh, prior to the injuries. So it's a very tough thing to do and it's, it's, a, it's a hard thing to put on him. Ottawa is really the recipient of some extremely bad luck right now. If they can, if they can play a full game against Saskatchewan, BC, and Hamilton, they can get into the playoffs. But I don't think just getting into the playoffs is the goal. Obviously, with a Grey Cup here in Ottawa, they want to be in a position to play in it. But before we before we run, we need to learn how to walk. So let's focus on the upcoming games at hand. Uh, as always, your Ottawa Red Blacks cheer and dance team was fantastic. And if you haven't gotten a calendar yet make sure you do it. Why? Because they do so much for the community and you want to make sure you get out and support them because it's what we do. Um, what do you guys think of tonight's game? Uh, what do you think about the Red Blacks chances of getting into the playoffs? Let me know. Uh, as always, you can reach out to me on Twitter at CFL underscore fan. Kind of an appropriate Twitter handle for a guy like me who likes the CFL. Uh, if that doesn't work for you, how about Facebook at facebook.com slash witty wittier and lastly witty wittier.com. If you like this video, remember sharing is caring. Feel free to tell your friends. If you didn't like it, well, nobody likes a whiner. Thank you so much for checking this out. My name is Keith.
And that's my view from the 40.